New Order, and here to stay on XFM 104.9. Well, we're here to stay, aren't we, Steve? True enough. Well, for another four weeks anyway, then we're, uh, then we're off. Then four right. more shows. They'll have to order a new DJ. <laughs> <laughs> All right? That was genius. <laughs> hey? Oh, wow. Oh, it's Ricky, as simple as that. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Mitchell, and <laughs> oh. Carl Pilkington. <laughs> oh, man. Did anyone, uh, read the, uh, Guardian yesterday? It was Steve's big we, we we were interviewed together. Steve I've never been interviewed before in the paper. I've certainly never had my photo in a national We were very paper excited. Before. We loved the interview. It was talking about our top ten albums between us. We loved it. We talked really fast, like school kids. We were excited. It was a great interview. And all the way through, it was Ricky Gervais <laughs> with his writing partner, Steve Mitchell. Stephen Mitchell. It's he not even gutted. like Merchant. He phoned me up the night before and he was gutted. And I know, if it, it's, it's awful. And it was big letters and just all the way through in the caption. And it's just like, oh, God. But it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, do you know what I mean? It's embarrassing because it's like I was trying to get in the paper, I couldn't believe my luck. And then that just draws attention to the fact that I'm not a celebrity <laughs> and consequently they can't even remember my name. Uh, but the worst thing was that, um, uh, one of my favourite albums of all time, I, I said in there, was, um, uh, Blood on the Tracks by Bob Dylan. And I said, because, you know, I think one of the most beautiful songs ever is if you see her say hello. And of course these people were sort of transcribing it from, you know, a dictaphone. It came out, um, my, my favourite song of all time was If You See a Sailor. <laughs> <laughs> if you see, if you see a sailor. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fruity. Oh, Bob, Bob Drillboids. Uh, <laughs> blood on the trab with- where's the sailor gone to? <laughs> oh, with Ricky Gervais and Steve LeMichling. <laughs> Oh. But I don't know. They must have thought my name was, was Mitchell all along. They obviously well, never uh, knew. Uh, the evidence is there. <laughs> but I, I don't they know why. It was like they, they reported in the paper that we'd be nominated for a Sony, and it said, uh, Ricky Gervais, who hosts the breakfast show on XFM. And it's that sort of, it's just guessing. It's like, uh, uh, presumably someone's gone, does he host the breakfast show? Someone's gone, yeah. And that's, that's <laughs> their research done. <laughs> yeah. But there was a thing about, um, uh, The Office set in Swindon. That's someone going, just write an article about The Office. Where's it set? Swindon, I think, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Even Pathetic. we research the show now and again, don't we? Yeah. Even we look things up, well actually people phone in, usually yeah. that fella, what's that fella's name that calls in who's not got the website? He's got a funny name. Oh. Gilbert <laughs> or something. James. Phone in if you remember uh, uh, what his name is. Yeah. He's James, all... James at Lose Control. Yeah, what's his surname though? Oh for goodness sake, this is just oh. gonna be interesting to him. Yeah. And his friends. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you we remember? Better, we better play another record. Yes. Come, oh, I'll tell you what. If Johnny you like Mango. Mango, that's it, yeah. 